friends, it's Cindy from DIY Beautify. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to show you how easy it is to transform either a piece of furniture or a piece of wood decor that maybe the um, stain color is just a little too orangey or it's a little too dark and you want to give it more of a white um, gray feel. I'll show you what I mean. This is the picture I'm going to work on today. The frame's not bad, but it's not doing much for my decor. This one I already did, and it was pretty much the same color. Um, so now it has the lime wash, and you can see that it just kind of gives more of that weathered wood look or the restoration hardware look. So that's what I'm gonna show you how to do today. So the supplies that you're gonna need or obviously your piece of furniture, or like I'm working on a frame, you could do candlesticks, you could do, um, oh, what else, like signs. This is a, just a great way to tone down the stain color of whatever you're working with. So the supplies that you're gonna need, I bought this Brie Wax Liming Wax, um, on Amazon and I'll try to link to that below. I don't know if it'll let me because I only have like 200 followers So please follow me <laughs> Anyhow, this is the wax I'm gonna use I've already used quite a bit of it because back when we did our master bedroom makeover my intention was to lime wash our dressers and I actually have a video where I shared how I did the drawers the, the fronts of the drawers. It was going great. It looked awesome the problem came because my I was replacing the knobs, the pulls on my drawers, and the holes are, they don't make the, they weren't the standard size that drawer pull holes are now. And so I had to fill them. And once I filled them, I could not get the lime wash to look right. It was just blatantly obvious that there was this patch of white there. So, um, I've had a bit of flack about that from some people here on YouTube asking why I don't take that video down, but I still think it's a, it's a great way for me to show you the process. And today I'm coming and I'm going to complete a project so you'll get to see what it looks like from start to finish. But that one's good too if you want to look at how to do um, furniture. It's the same general principle. Um, it's just this is a small piece sorry this stuff stinks so I'm just capping it until we get a little further in the other thing you're gonna need is a wax brush and I prefer the round one just because I can jab it into the little pot of lime wax and you know it's easy to do I think I've seen people also use just a rag so you could try that and then you're gonna need a soft lint free cloth this is just a piece of t-shirt that my son was, you know, ready to toss, so I ripped it up. Okay, so let's get started. I think I mentioned that I found this little picture at my local Goodwill for just a couple bucks, and I really liked the print. It's, it's idyllic, and it, you know, it's farm life. But I couldn't remove the backing because it's one of these. So without destroying it, um, I'm going to end up just using some blue painters tape and I'm going to tape off the glass so that I don't get the lime wax on the glass because that wax is going to be hard to get off the glass. Now if you have a picture frame like this one where you can easily take the back off and be left just with the frame that is actually ideal but I'm going to make it work. So I'm going to go ahead and tape this up and I'll be right back. Okay so I just went ahead and taped off the glass so that I don't get the wax on it. Now one thing I did not mention is before you do anything to your furniture, whether it's lime wax or chalk paint, um, just degrease your product first. I, I swear by um, Totally Awesome that you can buy at the Dollar Tree, just the spray, and it cuts through grime like nothing. So I've just sprayed this frame with it and wiped it down. It's nice and dry and it's ready to go. So like I mentioned, the Brie Wax Liming Wax has a bit of a strong odor. So if you're sensitive to odors, please just use a mask or do it outside. <clears throat> and my throat just caught. So 
you really need very, very little of this product. I just tapped my brush in there and realized I actually grabbed a little too much. So you can see that I've got a little bit on my brush and we're just gonna brush it on and wipe it off. This frame, I don't know if you could tell, but it has some, well, you can see it now, has a little bit of a design on the raised edge which will actually look really great with this liming wax um, makeover. So brush it on and just go back over and take off any excess. The problem with the liming wax is some people do a real heavy coat and it never dries for you. It's better to do um, you know, one or two light coats than a real heavy coat. And if you really want to enhance a piece, it's best to have some dings because the lime wax will get into those grooves and it looks really cool. So I'm still working on that little bit of lime wax that I added to my brush. Let's see how far I can get with it. Whew. It is stinky. You can see that this round brush, I'm able to, it's not soft, it's almost like a, the brush that you would use to stencil. So the bristles are real stiff, which makes it great for getting into, just to applying stuff and getting into tight spaces like the corners and the grooves. All right. Sorry, it's hard to do this and actually make sure I'm on camera at the same time. And as you'll see, I'm going in the same direction along the edges. That is important. All right, so I'm gonna flip this around and do that last side. The round brush is actually nice for getting into tight spots too because you can kind of just jam it in and it'll go for you. All right, so the whole piece has a good coat. I should say a light coat, but it's all covered solidly. All right, let me just cap this so I don't have to smell it anymore. My kids always complain when I do these projects in the house. They're like, oh my gosh, it smells horrible. All right, so pretty much right away, you take your, your lint-free rag, and I'm gonna start on the edge that I did first, and just wipe. Now you'll notice that if you wipe really hard, you're gonna remove everything you just did. So you don't wanna wipe too hard. You're just kind of working it into the wood And you can see that the lime wash stuck in those grooves and it gives a really neat feel to this piece. So I think it looks best when it kind of has a variety of light and dark. All right, let me just make sure I did all my edges. I did. So that's one coat and I'm essentially done. I don't know that I'm going to add, I think I might actually just go over that top one a little bit more because I took off a little more than I wanted. And then just very gently rub it. The thing is you do have to remove the wax. If you leave a heavy coat of wax on, like I said earlier, it just won't dry and you'll be wondering when you can actually style your piece. So it's better, like I said, to do light coats, wipe it off, and if you feel, like I feel like this top area, I may want a little more, but I'm gonna wait. But let me flip over the edge and show you when it's not engraved like that, you can see how it really looks just like that one. It's a different type of uh, stain. I'm not even sure what, it, what each one of these were, but 
It's got that similar just gray wash feel. And you see, it took just very, very little time to achieve. So I'm going to just go over that top a little bit more and then take my tape off. Now I live in a humid climate, so for stuff to cure where I live takes, I would say a good two weeks. Um, if you live up north, It'll take less time for your pieces to cure. I do need to clean the glass, but you can see how cool that looks. And that is how to lime wash. So I hope you try it out and show me what you create. It's just more of a farmhouse friendly um, finish and I love it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I forgot to mention I wanted to just go over cleaning your brush. So I literally just went and washed this. The lime wash is, you can wash it in soap and water. And I just use the Dawn dish soap, the blue stuff, and just rub it in with my fingers and kind of press it into the sink and go around until nothing white is coming out anymore. And now I'll just go and stand this up to let it dry, air dry. And it's funny because coming back here, I look at this now and I'm not crazy about that green mat in there. I don't like how it goes with the lime wash. So I think what I'm going to do is um, photocopy like a botanical print and Mod Podge that in here. And I'll add that to the, to the end of this video so you can see how it looks. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Let me just, if you have any questions about this, um, project, please don't hesitate to ask in the comments. And oh, I just noticed that the where <laughs> my son is cleaning our sofas today, so that's what that is right there. That's the Kirby cleaner. So, anyhow, sorry that's in my shot, but um, I would love it if you followed me. I blog over at www.diybeautify.com. And I'm in my seventh year of blogging all about thrifty, easy home decor projects, crafts, tutorials, and tips and tricks to, to get the look. So check me out over there and um, have a great day.